It's time for Roses and Rosé. I'm the color of sunshine, but this episode was about dead dogs. Hello, everyone. I'm Lauren Zeman. We are here to talk about The Bachelor in Paradise, but not a super paradise -y episode because it was a lot of talk about dog cancer. My dog's been battling cancer for six straight months. I wasn't going to come here. And, and dead dogs. A couple months ago, my dog died, and she's like my best friend. Pour one out for your puppy. So diving right in, Ashley, I was crying yet again, but this time we learned that it allegedly wasn't just about Jared, it was also about her dog that died recently. I know that the spirit of my dog, Lucy, is gonna help me on this journey. But Ashley said she knows her dog is in heaven because all dogs do. She learned that wisdom from the popular 1989 animated film, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Cheers to Ashley and a child's education in front of a television. Going to completely lose my mind. Oh! And the drama kept on coming because tonight we saw Lace and Grant, aka Grace's fight, materialize. You were disrespectful, like you were. Okay. So get out of my face. So here's the thing: I think Lace has a hard time accepting love. Get out of my face. It's like she doesn't think that this is real. She doesn't think she's deserving, maybe. So she lashed out and started flirting with one of the guys whose names we don't remember. Carl. That's his name. It's the same as mine. Ah! Oh, Grant. 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 I die for Grant. Grant, I'm dead. You're reading my eulogy. I'm as dead as Ashley's dog. But I know she went to heaven. Grant is the kindest human. He literally said that relationships take work and that if he has to work a little bit more than Ashley right now... I'm okay with that because I feel like she's worth it. Because she's worth it. Am I crying? Am I crying? No, I'm incapable, but I would be if I could. Wow. I just love Grant, and I think Grace has a shot. What do you guys think? Let me know. Round three of the drama already. Not a lot of laughs tonight. Mostly, mostly drama. Um, now this drama, I'll be honest, as much as I love this show, this drama felt a little bit manufactured. The twins go to Nick, and they ask him if he's okay. And his response is pretty robotic. Yeah, I'm happy. How are you feeling? As it should be, because it was a weird question. Um, it felt like a little bit of planting. Basically, the twins seem to want to stir up the Nick and Josh drama again. And sure enough, it worked. Gosh, they That's not the way to how to be a man, brother. It's not that hard to stir up. Oh, about as easy as a white peach sangria on a summer day. I'm just dreaming, people. I'm just dreaming. I yeah. hope you know that, like, whatever you would ever say. So the twins get Nick to like say some stuff he's already said about Josh. And then at the rose ceremony, um, this was a shocker. Um, they reveal they're leaving because they haven't found love. Unfortunately, um, um, um. Which also means Daniel and a couple other dudes whose names we don't remember had to go home, whatever. The twins are in tears. I mean, they were ready for this exit and just before they have to leave, they go to Amanda and tell her, I don't want to tell me. you. Tell me. That as her best friend, they heard some stuff about Josh and that she really needs to watch out for Josh. Again, this is all stuff we've heard before. Do you trust me? But Josh, Josh. And just trust us? Josh, Josh, Josh freaks out a little bit. I am very frustrated right now. Now, I gotta say though, I have to defend Josh here. Ever since I've been here, for some reason, one one person or multiple people have been accusing me of being, like, fake. I think he was just reacting to, yet again, this conversation coming up. And he didn't know where it was coming from. I'm kind of confused right now. I'm so confused. I'm confused. I'm just confused. Eventually, Nick owned up to saying some of the stuff he said. And it was Nick v. Josh again. And there isn't any evidence that Josh is there for the wrong reasons. There's speculation. But that doth not a confirmed report make. And now drink to round four of the drama. <laughs> Wells arrived and Wells is awesome. And Ashley liked Wells and they wanted a date and it was great. But then this other girl, I think her name is Jamie, she arrived and she wanted to take Wells on a date. So would you like to go on my date with me? Of course. Yay! Ashley was asleep, so Wells just went ahead and went on the date. And oh my God, when Ashley woke up, everyone elected Nick to deliver the news. Hey, Ashley. Nick continues to be this amazing narrator of the show, and he keeps having to like drop bombs on people. She asked, he said yes. And I gotta say, Nick, 
please have some babies because you are awesome. You would make a great dad. Listen to what he said about Ashley I. I hope this is an opportunity for Ashley to demonstrate some maturity and growth. Yes, yes. Now, of course, we know she did not. I just still like her having a super hard time with you being with something else. No, Ashley did not display any maturity and growth. Uh, once Wells was gone, she didn't have the attention from him. She put that laser beam red lipstick focus right back on Kayla and started to cause problems there. Did I bother you in the beginning? Of course you did. To the point of Kayla ending the episode saying she is going to leave paradise. I'm making a decision to leave. <sighs> and this was even after Jared gave her a really sexual butt bruise. <sighs> Ashley I just putting her little high ponytailed self in all sorts of situations. And I love it! Also, if you were drinking every time there was a dog in the episode, you drank a lot because man oh man did these editors throw some dogs in there. I don't know where these dogs were coming from. <coughs> At one point a dog just went up to Wells and Ashley's dinner date and they fed it. Don't feed that dog. You don't know what that dog has. I'm not an animal hater, I'm just anti-rabies. Thank you. Okay. So what did you guys think of tonight's Bachelor in Paradise? Whoa, let me blow your mind here for a minute. The finale is next week. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Again, if I could cry, the tears would doth roll. Let me know what you think over on Twitter and be sure to subscribe to ET's YouTube channel as we continue to cover Bachelor in Paradise and all Bachelor Nation shows every week right here. I did not drink nearly enough of this wine. Let me, like Nick, solve a problem. Keeping it classy, just half the glassy. Okay, have a great night, everybody. I am a journalist. I, I have a master's degree. I know that's hard to believe. <laughs>